Photography has come a long way since its invention by Louis-Jacques Mendé Daguerre in 1839. No longer just for professionals, today's cameras allow everyone with a smartphone to capture images of the world around them. These photographs don't even need to be developed. With a click of a button, photos can be shared throughout the world. There are many different types of photographs that advertisers can use. So before you take a picture, you have to decide which type of photograph would work best for your type of product. Let's explore a few basic types of photography. One of the most popular types of photography is portrait photography. Any picture with a face from people to animals is considered a portrait. Portraits are usually used to market beauty items like mascara or lipstick. Aerial photography is used when taking overhead shots of things like marathons or traffic. Action photography is usually used in sports sections, showing athletes participating in whichever event occurred the night before. Both of these types can also be considered documentary photography, meaning they are photographs of events. People looking to sell something use architectural photography or commercial photography. These are pictures of products or houses or buildings. Nature photographs are taken for magazines or websites and are usually of landscapes and animals. After deciding what kind of photograph you want, you then have to decide what format you want it to be. The most common file format is a JPEG, which most cameras automatically use. RAW format is used when more editing is needed, and the TIFF format is used for enlargement. Once you've decided on your format, then line up your shot. A good thing to remember is the rule of thirds, which is looking at your subject and trying to imagine that there's a grid of nine equal squares over your shot. This helps with alignment and framing so your photographs look more balanced and all of the action isn't to one side or the other. If you have a digital camera, most will automatically adjust the exposure for you. Exposures make photos lighter or darker, depending on how long the shutter is open. Modes automatically adjust settings when you take different types of photos. With the right mode, sports photos won't look blurry, and you can capture a shot of a bird in flight. Lighting is also important. If you're taking a picture of someone outdoors, make sure the sun isn't behind them, because chances are the sun will overwhelm the shot, and you won't be able to see the face of your subject. Also important is the flash. Sometimes the flash can be used to your advantage, flooding darkened areas with light. Be careful with the flash, though, because if you get too close to your subject, they'll get washed out and look like they're glowing. You can also turn your flash off if you're outdoors or somewhere with a lot of good lighting. In addition to the flash that comes with your camera, a separate flash unit can also be purchased. Professional photographers usually have these to add better lighting to their photographs. One way to keep your photographs from looking blurry is to use a tripod or monopod. These can be attached to your camera to stabilize your shooting. Tripods can also aid when you want to be in your photograph, as you can put your camera on your tripod, set your timer, and step into the frame. Once you've taken the pictures you want, you can download them to your computer. If you went with film, however, you'll need to take them to a photo processing center to be developed, unless you have access to a darkroom. After downloading your photos to your computer, you can then edit. Most computers nowadays come with photo editing technology, allowing users to change colors and all sorts of other things, like removing red eye and moving one part of a photo to another photo. Even smartphones come with editing capabilities. Popular apps such as Instagram allow users to add filters, which can change the colors in your photographs, among other things. Photography has come a long way since its creation in 1839. Advertisers utilize different types of photography in order to create eye-catching advertisements. Some examples include Portrait photography, any picture with a face from people to animals. Aerial photography, a type of overhead shot. Action photography, a photo of a subject performing a movement or action. Architectural photography, pictures of houses or buildings. Commercial photography, pictures of products. Nature photography, images of landscapes or animals. Common formats and file types include JPEG, the most common format, RAW, used for additional editing, and TIFF, used for enlargements. 
Many photographers use techniques like the rule of thirds to get a balanced and aligned photo, different exposures to make photos lighter or darker, and modes which automatically adjust settings to get sharper photos. The right equipment also helps when taking a picture. A tripod or monopod can be attached to a camera to stabilize shooting, and editing software, apps, and filters which adjust the color and brightness schemes in pictures can be used to improve a photo after it is taken and instantly share it with other people.